Hi, this video is about the Care Room Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the October 2015 Grade 7-8 Contest Question 21, which also came up in the Grade 9-10 and 11-12 contests. So the question is, Henry has a toy ship that weighs 3 kilograms, and he wants to see if it floats. He fills a laundry basin with a 25 centimeter by 50 centimeter rectangular base with water up to 2 centimeters from the rim. Henry is happy to see that when he places the ship in the basin, it floats. What happens to the water level? And hint, the density of water is 1 gram divided by centimeters cubed. Okay, now what we want to figure out is what happens to the water level when this toy ship is placed in the water. Okay, now for any toy ship, any floating ship that is in water, then of course there is a part of it that is underwater, below the level, the, below the water level, and of course there is a part above the water level. So this here, this part is of course below the water level. Okay. So now this ship has a weight. Now on one hand, there is a gravi therefore there is a gravitational pull which pulls it downwards, but on the other hand, below the water level, there is a the water pressure which pushes it upwards. Now since we have for a floating ship we know that both of those forces balance each other. Now, the mathematical form of this statement is that the weight of the whole ship is equal to the weight of the displaced water, which would be this right here. Okay, and now this principle here, the weight of the whole ship, which would be the weight of the whole thing, is equal to the weight of the displaced water. Now this principle is also known as the Archimedes principle. Okay, so now in our case, we know that the weight of the whole ship is given and that that toy ship weighs three kilograms. And this is equal to the weight of the displaced water. Well, the weight of the displaced water is the density of water, which is given in the hint, and we know that that is one gram divided by centimeters cubed. And that is multiplied by the volume of this displaced water, which would be this right here, and this example shown. Alright, so now of course we just want to find the volume of this displaced water. So we have V is equal to, and then we have 3 kilograms, so we must divide this on both sides. So 3 kilograms, since we want it in grams, that's 3,000 grams. And then we have divided by one gram divided by centimeters cubed. Now, this is equal to, well, if we have this divided by this a fraction, then you just multiply by the inverse of the fraction. So it's like 3,000 grams multiplied by centimeters cubed over one gram. Now, of course, the gram and the gram, those both cancel out. So then all we have is 3,000 times centimeters cubed. So we have is equal to 3,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, and now we want to see how much more water this laundry basin can take before it spills over. Okay. 
So now we know that it has a rectangular base of 25 centimeters times 50 centimeters, and we know it with water up to two centimeters from the rim. So we will write first, we will have two centimeters times the 25 centimeters times the 50 centimeters. So two times 25 is 50, and 50 times 50 is 2,500. And that's easy because five times five is 25 with the two zeros. So we have 2,500, and centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, well, there's three factors of that, so it must be centimeters cubed. Okay, so that means that there is 500 centimeters cubed too much. Now, of course, now we have, well, we have 500 centimeters cubed too much, which is just half a liter, which means that the water then spills half a liter over. And if we look at the options, we can see that the correct option would be option D. The water level rises to the top and half a liter will then spill over. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.